On April 9, 1865, the Confederate Army surrendered to the Union Army at Appomattox, ending the war between the states. The battle was not over for my brothers, however, as Colonel Barnsby had yet to put down his arms and was determined to see them hang. The three of us headed west to Fort Smith, Arkansas, a lawless town full of gamblers, drifters, and gunslingers, a place where people knew better than to ask questions. We still hope to rebuild our family farm someday, but for now, that was only a dream. For you see, the war had changed my brothers. They had become cold and violent men who took what they wanted without care or conscience. What are you two doing? Nothing. We're just having a friendly disagreement. Why is this your business, little brother? Why is it my business? Because I don't want to get kicked out of another town. Well, I don't either. Especially since Thomas here might have a little one on the way. You go to hell. She was mine. Yours? Are you kidding me? What's this all about? Tell him, Tommy. Unless you already forgot her name, which I doubt, since you just finished screwing her. Betsy ain't none of his business. Betsy? The Marshal's daughter? Are you out of your mind? Little Coquette kept flirting with me. If the Marshal finds out, he is oh! gonna... Get your ass out of here, McCall! I want to know which one of you animals touched my little girl. You? You? Sheriff. What the hell is wrong with you two? You act like the war never ended. And you can just take what you want. But you know what? This time you crossed the wrong son of a bitch. You tell me who did this to my daughter or I will gun down both of you. It was me. He's lying, Sheriff. I did it. Or maybe it was both of us. Oh, shut up, Ray. That girl does like a good time. You're the deputy marshal. You gotta keep your head here. This ain't your business, boy! <laughs> now I'm not the marshal. So let's go. Time to dance with the devil. Ray! Thomas, please. Please. Walk away. There ain't no walking away from this boy. One, two, three.
This way, quick! All right. Now, we need to find some horses. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find some horses here. Whole town wants to string us up. Did you have to provoke him like that? I'm not the one who diddled his daughter. There's no way out of this. So they're coming for us. Let them come. You wanna buy or rob? It's a dead end. Let's go through the buildings. Ray, cover me. Thomas! Now your turn, big man. Open it. Don't you move, bitch. What the hell is wrong with you, brother? His bark is worse than his bite. You just relax now, darling. We'll be out of your hair in no time. There's a stagecoach. It's better than nothing. Can you get it over here? Look, we should just turn ourselves in. He drew on you first. It was self-defense. You think they gonna believe us? We turn ourselves in, and they gonna stretch our necks. Keep an eye out. When I get back, you jump on. Saving your ass. I'm the killers here. Cover me. I'll try to move that wagon. We'll do it goddamn quick. These assholes must have a death wish.
What are you waiting for? Move! Damn, brothers! Go! They're gonna be waiting for us! They're blocking our way. Turn! Go! Go! Don't slow down! Good, not good. Good. Yeah! Out of the way! Look out! Turn around or they'll cut us off. Whoa! Too late. They got us. Not yet! Hiya! The hell are you doing? You out of your goddamn mind? Look out! Hey! The devil's disciples! Just put this on our tab. Go! Go! Yeah! One day, you're gonna get us killed. <laughs> They're gonna chase us, you know. It won't do them any good. We gotta do it together. Whoa! William, take the reins. I never handled as many horses. Horses are a lot like women. You just need to tell them what to do. Crack the whip and say go. Move it before they get us. Hurry. Go! They're gonna be waiting for us. They're here! they got What the hell? Dynamite. William, hurry up. Look out. Son of a bitch. Asshole's doing. You peckerheads can kiss my ass. What the hell just happened? <laughs> you dumbasses, you blocked your own path. Live by the dynamite, die by the dynamite. 
Let's take the horses, but leave that damn coffin. They won't catch us. Oh, Lord in heaven, what have you done? Well, it's not like we had a choice. You just killed a U.S. federal marshal. Don't you know they're gonna hunt you down to the ends of the earth? Then I say we go to Mexico. Sunshine and senoritas. Nothing wrong with that. Besides, I've heard tales of an Aztec treasure buried in the hills just outside of Juarez. Well, what about our plan? Rebuilding our family farm. Reclaiming our land. That's why I want the treasure, brother. Without gold, that plan is just a fantasy. We're never gonna settle down, are we? You're like mad dogs, tearing at each other's throats. By the way, brother, if you ever steal another woman away from me, I swear to God I will take your life. Do you understand me? Dear Lord, how do I free my brothers from Satan's embrace? What words do I use to convince them that the Lord loves and forgives them? Now we're on the run to Mexico. Ray is dragging us there to find a mythical treasure, for he believes we can use it to rebuild our family farm. I must continue to preach the truth and turn my brothers towards the light. Because when all is said and done, we are family.